Flags for all 56 nations of the Commonwealth, carried onto the parade square by the UK Household Division. But the guardsmen are simply lining the route for the 408 service personnel from Commonwealth nations and British overseas territories marching in the coronation procession. This is one of the final rehearsals for soldiers, sailors and aviators to perfect their drill. The drills are different from the way it's being done in Cameroon because uh, in Cameroon the drills are French culture. So we had little time but we went very well, we uh, just learned it very quickly and I'm sure that it's going to be a grand show on 6th. Nations here today share a long history with Great Britain and they share British enthusiasm for this historic occasion. Uh, we are really very delighted to be part of this uh, grand ceremony because we maintain a very friendly relation with this country and it's uh, the history is too long. So we are really very proud to be part of this. Nos collègues uh, militaires our military colleagues told us they will be spending the entire day of the coronation in front of the TV watching. As well as a chance to practice marching together, everyone on parade is being given a token of appreciation from the UK for their part in the ceremony. Military representatives from 33 Commonwealth nations and six British overseas territories will form a key part of the coronation procession. And today they're being presented with a special commemorative coin to recognise that participation and their service. The commemorative coin has the official coronation emblem on one side and on the back, the King's Royal Cipher. And on the 6th of May, after the ceremony in Westminster Abbey, Commonwealth Service personnel will accompany the King and Queen as they march through the streets of central London to Buckingham Palace. For us, it's a great honour. For us, it is a great honour. It only happens once. To march behind a king, it's a great honour for us. It's a great honour. It's not a... Uh... Every day that you get to assist in the coronation of the King of uh, Great Britain. So it's actually a pride. It's once in a lifetime, actually. Rosie Layden, Forces News, Perbright.